All right, gentlemen, this is the strength test. To test the durability of your edge, I'm going to take five chops into this road barrier with your blade. John, you're up. You ready? Absolutely. All right. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Got to let it out somehow. And deep breathing techniques are known to work. Well, your blade held up well. There's no chips or dings, but your handle, it's awful round. And this guard overhang on my hand is just enough to start digging in. But good job. Thank you. Sam, you're up next. Are you ready? I'm ready. There we go, Dave. Well, Sam, no distortion, no rolling. Blade edge held up fine. Your handle, though, it's just that squareness that's right here. Instead of being indexed towards the front, it's kind of more indexed towards the side. It kind of wants to be in my hand like that, which makes the whole knife want to roll on impact. All, all though, well done. So, Keith, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. OK, well, there's no distortions on your edge, no chipping, no bending. Your handle, pretty rough, but the shape is comfortable. I mean, it fills my hand nicely, and it's indexed well. I know right where that edge is. All in all, nicely done. Thank you. Next up is the sharpness test. For that, I'll give you the Doug. Bladesmiths, to test the edge of your blade and see how sharp it is, I will take your weapon, and I will run it across these cargo straps. John, you're up first. You ready? Ready to rock. OK, John, you definitely have a razor's edge on your blade right here. It cut cleanly through these cargo straps. But the handle's a little bit rounded for my hand, so it's kind of hard to tell where it's really indexing at. But it will cut. Thank you. Sam, you're up next. You ready? Doug Markaida. This man could take me apart, and he wouldn't have to use my knife to do it. First off, the indexing of your handle is very blocky, so it affects the way you handle the blade. So as I dragged it and felt some resistance, the weight distribution and your handle design started to make the blade turn. But for the first three slices, using the belly of the blade, it cut cleanly. And for that, sir, it'll cut. Thank you. Keith, you're up next. You ready? Yes, sir. Well, Keith, off the bat, it's comfortable in the hand. Your blade starts to get really thin, so it's razor sharp over here. So initially, it cuts all the way through, but it gets thicker in the back. And it was sharp enough to cut through all three initially. It will cut. Thank you. Bladesmiths, it's time for one of you to leave the forge. Sam. Your weapon did not make the cut. Sam, the profile of your blade looks great. No issues on your edge. The only issue was the way you designed your handle caused it to turn during testing. And that's the reason why we have to let you go. Sam, please surrender your weapon. Unfortunately, my handle making skills just weren't up to par today. That's all right. This experience was an opportunity for me to learn. I came here to make a knife and up. And I think I succeeded in both. 